One difference that I noticed from the get-go is like look at the font on the keys. The font on my four-year-old Alienware product, it just looks it looks neater because this looks like kind of just generic cheap font. We well, look at here what the cat dragged in. Well actually I've had the computer for a few days now, but uh, this is the grand opening since it only has a single hard drive. I'll be adding a hard drive. And since it only has 16 gigs of RAM, then I'll be adding 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM. But uh, without further ado, let's get everything open and let's get cracking. This is everything opened up. Let's get this machine opened up. I have no idea how it goes. Doing it for the first time. This is where the RAM's at, so I'm gonna do this first. So apparently these two things share the screw and then you just pry it open. I did it without smashing everything or anything. Let's see, what do we have here? Stock RAM, it's a Samsung, something, something, something. Eight gigs, 3200 megahertz. So this is the stock RAM, what you find here. And what I'm gonna do is pop in these bad boys, these crucial ballistics, 16 gigs, DDR4, 3200. <laughs> Made in Mexico, who, who knew that? Bam, there is one. Here goes the second, boom. Yeah, this is the, the box for the RAM. So crucial this time. So there's that. So this is where the hard drive's at. Does it go there? It seems to. There's even a little screw. Sorry, I don't have an anti-static mat and stuff. Little things, big hands. Tweezers are really kind of life-saving here. Now we got this SSD all locked down too. And I'm not touching any, anything else. I'm just gonna put these things straight back where they were. Ah, the rear hatch is back on. Let's try the, the whole case. So I guess it's important that Oh, there's a little space here. My room is small, really small. I assume some stuff should already pop in by default. Yes, there's that. We are good. God damn, good screwdriver set really makes working on electronics really easy. Oh, Jesus H. That's that, as far as the screwing goes, screwings, really nice screwdriver set, I can advise you this, it's called Jake Me, I think it has like 100 and, does it say how many parts it has, it was like 105 or something, 106, 106 in one it says, Jake Me, didn't cost me much, 20 euros maybe? Well, now that all the crap's out of the way, let's see if I still have a working PC. Well, it boots up. So the RAM must be working. Let's see what the system information says. 32 gigs of RAM. So you gotta do some uh, hocus pocus with the hard drive, I see. So I have no idea how it goes. I have to check some uh, YouTube tutorial on it. Signed the uh, following drive letter. Let's see what this man did. Because I don't have a brain myself or Google. Need to name it somehow. I think Big Chungus. Hell yeah. Now this computer is set up for use. I got that Big Chungus as my primary drive for all my data. But Big Chungus is online. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it just keeps happening. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. Ram speed in my computer. RAM sticks which are in my computer. The stock RAM sticks. As you can see, 3200 megahertz, but just two times eight gig. But these new ones are 32 gigs, two times 16. So no, you can't change anything from BIOS. No, you can't change anything from Lenovo's uh, performance software. So the only guess is that the first set that I got sent these weren't closed, as you can see, by a seal. So maybe, just maybe, they got exchanged for 2006, 6, 7. 
megahertz RAM. I just got another set of the same stuff and I'm gonna put it in the computer and let's see what happens then. But at the moment, I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased. Even my old computer's RAM was equally fast. We want progress, not stagnation. Just to show you guys that I'm not a bamboozler, the set that is in the computer, the stock set and the new set I'm gonna put in. So obviously, as we can see, it seems that these two are identical. So the issue is somewhere else, but whatever, Amazon is really customer friendly. So I'm gonna send one set back, definitely, if not both. I'm just gonna try to get smarter and solve this issue wherever it is, why this new RAM is not running at the 3200 megahertz. Maybe it's just the wrong RAM, who knows? I wanna upload Lenovo here, super simple case design with the screws and you just have to pry the little teeth out from the side I'm using this Lindex card for that and very easy to DIY a hard drive or memory sticks to all the conspiracy theorists of you gotta change it from the BIOS the computer is uh, plugged in so we have full juice going into it I had to plug in the mousey in the housey but you can see I go under overclocking uh, I move so terribly in the BIOS but whatever I can't do anything here you see it says memory 2667 and I can only overclock the GPU let's see what happens nothing else changes advanced overclocking Still nothing, so I'm just gonna turn it on. I don't need this. Apply. Okay, cancel. Let's just cancel then, whatever. So I can't do anything. A boot device. Mm, no, I don't wanna change that. More settings. So this is the classical version of BIOS. And the only thing active from here is the language option. You go to memory, it says there's 32 thousand megabytes of it but I, I can't do anything uh, if you look down there no no obvious secret menu option so yeah as it is evident from this bios here let's see what I can find out more about this well 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 I mean I guess I gotta just uh, educate myself more about uh, the internal workings of software and computers yeah too lazy to do that but let's see let's see what we can dig out the time has come to send the good old alienware to a new owner tomorrow so i'll just point out a couple of things that i've noticed that this four-year-old alienware design still does very well first of all i like the alienware screen better the Alienware's resolution is 2560 times 1440, whereas the Lenovo's is just full HD 1920 times 1080. I think that the Dell's screen is crispier and the colors are better, but that's just personal opinion. The second thing is that I do kind of like the Dell's keyboard more. It may be just personal preference, but I just like the Alienware's keyboard more than the Lenovo Legion's. Also, I don't like the Lenovo Legion's font on the keys. I think it's ugly and Dell's is pretty crispy and nice. And third thing is that really shines through and that's one of the main reasons, I suppose, why you pay more for an Alienware is the build quality or sturdiness. Now here I'm not saying that Lenovo is shoddily built. It's assembled fairly well and uh, I have nothing to say about the assembly quality at this moment. It seems it's well built enough for the purpose it needs to serve, but the Dell just feels a bit meatier. It just feels more substantial. It just feels more of a quality kit. But the time has come to pack the Dell boy in this uh, Lenovo Legion backpack and farewell and Godspeed with the new owner. Maybe you internet detectives can help me out with this RAM mess that I'm in this time again. This is the RAM that I've ordered, Crucial Ballistics, a lot of letters, 3200 MHz, DDR4, gaming kit memory for laptop, 32 gigs, 2 times 16 gigs, CL16. I have two sets of these, I've tried both sets and both are running at 
as we can see from the task manager at 2667 megahertz if i just google what's the lenovo legion 5 gen 6 max ram it says 32 gigs that's what i have 32 32 gigs of ram that's what i have me if we look at this uh, upgrades and options.com page maximum ram in the legion 5 is 32 gigs across its two dimm slots there's also some uh, part lists for ram specs irrelevant and uh, this upgrades and options.com advises me kingston technology hyperx ram cl20 or crucial 16 gig kit with cl22 if we just google what cl means it means this but quote i'm quoting now in general the lower cas latency the better within a given memory technology if we go back here it advises me to get cl20 cl22 my memory is cl16 so it's better it's just plain better and that crucials homepage, it says the same thing 32 gigs uh, two banks and standard is 16 all good all accurate and if we look at the memories that crucial advises us to get cl22 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 so you can tell me people who are smarter on computers than i am way smarter than i am why is not the correct memory by specs as far as i can understand it should be 100 percent correct why it isn't running on 3200 megahertz on my lenovo legion 5 with the amd ryzen 5800 and some letters if you could help me out then i would be very grateful cheers 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 cheers